What's good, YouTube? What's going on? Hope everyone is having a uh, fantastic Sunday today. Today is Sunday, Sunday, September 10th, 2023. Um, shout out to the family, the winning team, TWT. What is good, everyone? And also, I want to give a shout out to my boy, Jose, who produced and created the Bronx logo. You know, um, I got his Instagram floating at the bottom of uh, on the little ticker there, floating on the bottom of the video. You know what I'm saying? The Bronx logo. You know what I'm saying? You could also catch on the BronxLogo.com spelled out, you know, all the words spelled out. Also, my Instagram is down there as, um, as well. Please, you know, help support my boy, Jose. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he gave me permission to use the logo to help kind of like um, sponsor the show. You know what I'm saying? He has merch. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to rep the culture, if you're from the Bronx, from New York, you know what I'm saying? He got some good merch over there. You know what I'm saying? And he does great content as well on his Instagram. So uh, let's go into uh, more of the video. Um, today, I was supposed to do, um, well, I did do the segment. I did a segment on a radio show I've been doing every Sunday on Ring Talk Worldwide with Pedro Fernandez. It airs out in um, San Francisco and also on the WBC network. It's sponsored by the WBC. And um, one of the segments I was supposed to do um, was a this day in history, you know, September 10th, you know, some notable fights um, in history that happened on today's date. And um, when I went to do it, I kind of fumbled the audio. I messed up. So I figured I just kind of like um, I'll do it here on the YouTube. You know, we, we still ended up having a good uh, segment. Uh, we did two segments, so you could catch that. I'll post a, you know, a link to the show on um, on my community page in the YouTube channel. Maybe you check that out. But, um, you know, let's get to it. You know what I'm saying? So today, September 10th, I want to look at 1966, where Muhammad Ali took on um, Carl Mildenberger from Germany. Muhammad Ali was 25 and 0, defending his world title versus the European champion, Carl Mildenberger. Um, and guess what? There were two firsts in this fight, right? There was the first time a Southpaw has challenged for the world heavyweight title. And it was the first time an heavyweight championship bout has taken place in Germany. This fight was taking place um, in Frankfurt, Germany. And, um, you know, Muhammad Ali went on to uh, defeat Carl Wildenberger. He ended up dropping... Um, Carl three times in the fight. He dropped him in the fifth, the eighth, and the tenth round. He ended up opening a cut above um, Carl's left eye in the sixth round, and eventually the fight was stopped in the twelfth round. Back then, they fought 15, 15 round fights. Uh, the referee stopped it in the twelfth round, and Muhammad Ali went on and became victorious, um, defending his title. Uh, quick notes about this fight. This was, I believe, the fourth time in the same year that Muhammad Ali went and defended his title. And it was the fourth time on foreign soil. You know, the first fight earlier in the year, he fought in uh, Toronto. And then he fought in the UK, I believe, two times before. And then he fought in Germany, obviously, on today's date against Carl Mildenberger. And then later on in the year, he fought a fifth time. And defended his title. I think I believe he fought in um, in Houston. I could be wrong about that, but I know it was in the states. But four times on foreign soil, Muhammad Ali defended his title in 1966. Also in 1973, on September 10th, Muhammad Ali went on to defeat Ken Norton. He avenged his loss that he lost to Ken Norton earlier on in uh, 1973, where Ken Norton broke his jaw and. Um, you know, he avenged it in a, you know, some people thought it might have been kind of controversial. He beat Ken Lauren in a split decision. Let's forward again 20 more years, September 10th, 1993, right? One of the biggest controversial decisions ever in boxing. You know, this fight took place in Texas. I believe it was in the Alamo Dome. Could be wrong. I think I know it definitely was in Texas, but it was Julio Cesar, Cesar Chavez. He um, went on to take um, fight Purnell Sweet P. Whitaker. That fight, a lot of people thought Purnell 
Whitaker won, but that fight was scored a draw. So um, there you have it. You know, little quick uh, notes on this day in history, September 10th. Um, three big fights that happened. If you guys know any other fights that may have took place on September 10th, um, that's worth mentioning. Please leave it in the comment section and, um, you know, check out the community page for the link uh, for my little segment with um, Pedro Fernandez on Ring Talk Worldwide. All right, that will do it for the video. Once again, want to give a shout out to TWT, to the family. You know what I'm saying? Check us out. You know, we're all over. Uh, my boy D Free does content on Tuesdays. Um, with the NFL. So not only we do boxing, we do NFL, we do basketball. We got A1 Hoops does basketball. You know, if you guys want to do bets and, and, and stuff like that, we got my man Southern T. He does um the bets and he covers boxing and, and all sports as well. So we're all over, you know, check us out, you know, look us up at the uh, hashtag TWT, you know what I'm saying? And also don't forget to uh, check out my boy Jose at the Bronx logo. All right. That'll do it for now. You know, until uh, next time, take care. God bless. And see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.